Okay, the chaps are doing the washdown. Let's go and check out how they're doing. Like a little tune. Ranking. Yeah, look, Chad likes handling the big black poles, don't you, Chad? <laughs> yeah, good job. This is the first official washdown of the season. And for those of you who don't know, we did actually attempt to have Chad on the channel once before, but the audio mic jack thing's broken. So, Chad, welcome again to the channel. <laughs> audio should be working now. Yeah. Tell the viewers a little bit about yourself, where you're from, age, yachting spirits. I'll oh, turn the volume down. Styling, styling. <laughs> Um, Actually, let's, turn it, let's swap size because I've got the sun right behind you, so you can get the glare. Okay. There we go. Um, I'm 25 years of age. I'm from Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, been in the industry since 2017. Um, smashed my courses and then started working on a 23 meter sailing cat. Then I came overseas last year with my missus and then we worked together on a 28 meter and then transitioned onto a 35 meter. And then unfortunately now she's in Florida on the way to Canary Islands and She's I'm, on another boat, right? Yeah, she's yeah. on another boat. <laughs> and uh, I'm on AWOL now. Fantastic. So Living the dream 20, on AWOL. 2020, see what that brings. Yeah, indeed. And what's your goal within the industry? Where are you, do you want to go down the engineering route, captain um, route? Not sure yet. Um, so I've got a, a bit of a hydraulic and uh, hydraulic and pneumatic uh, engineering experience. Um, so I've done my AC1, got like I said, got the experience, and then now I'm just gonna start ranking up with courses and get my engine hours up, as well as going the captain uh, route. And then I want to captain my own vessel from about 100 foot down okay. with my partner in the coming years. Fantastic. So you wanna go down both routes. You wanna get your engineering tickets and your captain tickets. Very good idea. And ultimately, once you get on the vessel under 100 foot, you want to stay under 100 or you want to... I want to stay under 100. Okay. You're well, not a big fan of the big boats? No. Nah. I get you. Too many people, too many politics. Yeah. Okay, Chad, thanks a lot. Great Welcome stuff. to AWOL. Welcome to the team. Thank you so much. And I'll much. let you continue working with that big black pole. <laughs> Cheers, matey. Thanks. First wash down. Well needed, looking good. Still in the yard here, guys. Beautiful day. Some stars over there. We were basically the, not the first one, the second shed there for the whole winter for eight months in the end. Got a nice little Princess V62 there. Very nice indeed. Some work boats and a couple of barges. And then this is the outdoor furniture, obviously, because the washing down we put it all under here, but normally this is all set here. So it's nice lounges. We have like a nice rug down, a real cool chill out area. And then forward, for those who don't know, under here, well, here actually we've got the jacuzzi, which is actually very popular with uh, guests and the boss, and the sunbathing area here. And you've got some guys in the bow, they're just doing some uh, polishing jobs for the warranty for the paint. And then we've got a uh, Benetti over here, same length as Awa, by the looks of it, more or less. Mostly got Tanusha. Guys are also working there, everybody's getting ready. And this, I think, is like a big sunflower field, so hopefully that'll be blossoming soon get those yellow flowers out chaps and now we're going to go downstairs see what everybody else is up to uh, zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out um yeah so bridge deck got some new plants here got the barbecue gas barbecue and a lot of people said you got the gas barbecue it gets a bit oily um but you know it's what the boss wanted so it's gotta be done and then these black antennas here are the SSB antennas which got taken off when we came here because we had to go under a very um, low bridge. And they basically hook, you can't really see, but they hook onto, got like a black thing sticking out there. So they just hook onto, onto there. They're very high up. And also we still need to install the radar mast which is currently in that shed over there. In fact, we might actually go, let's go over and have a look at it so you guys can see. And down here, sad news guys, sad, sad news today. Our beloved Pegasus has a puncture. Sad day, sad times, because all super yacht crew know that they love inflatables, especially 
slides and swimming pools. All the deck team love inflating those and putting those away. They're a lot of fun. <laughs> also, I've in there, by the way, in case you didn't read that. And uh, so, yeah, let's go over and look at the radar mask. I'm going to show you guys where it's been stored all winter. Basically, we have all the wiring here. It goes into basically a junction box, connects all the wires together, which leads to you know things like our radars. We've got CCTV, the the um, Imosat C, other antennas as well. We've got twin radars, X band. We've got our nav lights as well. These are the uh, mass headlights. Um, it's looking pretty good. And then we have our not under command lights as well, two red lights in a, in a vertical line all around. And there we have it. So it was stored all the way up there, on that top level there for the winter. They brought it down now because we'll be launching soon. And then what we have to do is once we pass the bridge, this gets towed on a barge separately. Once we pass the low bridge, there'll be a crane there waiting to lift it put it on board, the electrical team will be on board to do all the wiring and the installation, the calibration and finding the test. Also we have the searchlight here, this is a searchlight and the infrared or night vision camera better said. Uh, you can see it's pretty dusty and dirty, so there is, we don't want to wipe it, but uh, once it's all cleaned, wash, we're going to do a special coating. These side cameras are brand new, one on this side and the other side, and also one here on the port side. Okay, what we have here, we have the pad eyes, which are low tested. These ones have been low tested for 300 kilos. So basically, when the guys are washing the radar masks, we have to have a thing called a permit to work, where their harnesses, they have their lines, they attach the, the carabiners onto here, and they got one further up as well, so they're safe in case they slip and or fall. Cool guys, it's heading into the big old shed now. We're gonna check on Harry, who's the chase boat captain make sure he's not sleeping on the job. Uh, I'm sure he's not. He's beginning it already. Launch day for the chase boat. In theory, it's tomorrow. There he is. Ding dong, what's going on? Uh, if you're watching a series, you know we've had this bottom part of the bow thrust and the hull here replaced. That's a primer. Uh, they'll be applying a uh, anti-foul today. Then what they've got to do on the starboard side of the bow thruster is they have to replace the the anodes which go on the uh, this right there. Come on! Right, anyway, there's some anodes there, and then we've got to change the anodes also also on the trim tabs. So yeah, you can see all chewed up. Get a camera in there. That goes here. That needs to be all replaced on the starboard side and on the port side. Right, come on thing, what do you think? Yeah, so you can see it's all chewed down and needs to be replaced. And hopefully Harry will be back in the water tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Harry, welcome back to the channel. Thank you. So we did some filming the other day, but it didn't go through because as I mentioned earlier, there's a problem with the audio jack on the camera. So all that filming was a waste of time, eh? Hence why the videos have been delayed for a week or two. So, all good? Yeah, yeah, all good. Uh, just wrapping up, really. Just uh, getting all the rubbish off and uh, getting just getting ready to go into the water tomorrow. Water. Yeah. Tomorrow, launch yeah, yeah. day, guys. Going to be filming all of it tomorrow for you guys, helping the ding dong out. Driving it for the first time in, we went here last year, so it's uh, been two, well, a year and a half. Yeah, a year and a half, yeah. Almost two years. Yeah. Cool, got the new tow bar installed. Uh, they know the other one buckled last year. The old one is actually over here. Basically what happened, we had too much weight pulling. Uh, you can see here, it buckled here. And you can see it also buckled here. And finally here, so the, all, the whole thing went at once. So we now know not to, we now know the limitations of the tow bar. 
and uh, you can see how he's been doing a good job he's been polishing cleaning detailing they've installed the tow bar uh, up top they've been painting the the, the, the tower is made of aluminium so they've been painting that and polishing and yeah looking good ding dong yeah it's good happy with her she'll look very good when she hits the water yeah by the way guys his, his real name isn't actually ding dong that's his nickname his name's actually harry so but uh every year we give him a new nickname so <laughs> just one of those things and there it is chasing a wall chasing a way of life props are looking nice and shiny harry yep look at that Get those a good clean polish. Got the new anodes in for the uh, outboards. Uh, yeah, she's looking good and ready for the 2020 season. Well, it's going to be quite a short season, but it'll be a season. Got some more charters coming in, which is good. More inquiries coming in, which is good. So we're happy about that. What are you most looking forward to, Harry, this season? Um, probably water sports. I missed that last season. Yeah. Um, I did a lot of driving bigger boats but definitely miss the water sports um, also Croatia yeah. uh, exploring the little areas oh it's really beautiful yeah um, I just really getting involved with charters I just like I like um, guests having the best time ever that's what we like to hear yeah. um, so Harry also runs the AWOL winter program so AWOL the yacht is a way of life the winter program is AWOL a winter of luxury Harry started it uh, I've done a few videos with Harry, you haven't seen this video, I'll put a link just here, so watch those. So just give a quick breakdown of what a winter luxury is and what yeah. your guests and clients can expect. Okay, cool. So with AWOL, I'm running the chase boat, a way of life. Um, with a winter of luxury, um, I'm basically the ski instructor for the chalet. So instead of doing the water sports here, I'm doing the alpine skiing, taking guests up onto the mountain, look up, looking after them, uh, making sure they get to their restaurants on time and uh, just generally making sure they have the great greatest experience possible. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. And you're qualified to... I've got the highest level. Um, so you're the big dog? I wouldn't say that. Only the big dogs and AWOL. <laughs> Only the big dogs. I wouldn't I'll say I'm the yeah, big yeah. dog because there's other viewers out there that would be like, hey, I'm a big dog too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a question for you. What do you. Would you rather be a ski instructor all year round or a, check, or a yacht captain all year round? That's a really difficult one, and I'm going to have to say I can't. I'm unable to, to, to <laughs> decide because I love skiing and I love um, yachting. I Very think. diplomatic answer. Yeah. If I, I wanted to do both. Yeah. Okay. Much Good it. answer. Very diplomatic. Cool, guys. Well, I think we're going to end today's video there. Oops. Bit of a zoom issue there, I think. Um, so, if you did like today's video, be sure to click that thumbs up button. Do subscribe because we've got some great content coming this summer. We're going to be traveling through the Messina Straits, which is between Sicily and Italy, around the boots of Italy, up to Croatia, my favorite cruising grounds in the Mediterranean. It offers thousands of islands, beautiful anchorages, great drone footage. Going to be some, doing some docking videos, some crew videos, some water sports videos, all for your viewing pleasure. On top of that, we're offering you the chance to win a week's vacation on board AWOL. It includes the chase boat. It might include Harry, it might not, we don't know yet. We'll see, <laughs> he's here next year. Um, with five of your closest friends and family, so six people in total, flights included, all costs included. All you have to do is go to the link in the description, the raffle link, follow the instructions, tickets start from 15 pounds, which is roughly 20 US dollars. As always guys, a big thank you to our patrons. If you're not a patron yet and you want to sign up and show your appreciation, go to patreon.com forward slash super yacht captain. As always, do check out our merchandise. We've got some super yacht captain merchandise and crew stories merchandise. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And uh, that's it for now, guys. See you. Ciao.